It's been said that New York is the greatest city in the world. For the life of me, I can't understand why. Forbes ranks New York as the second most stressful city in America, and a new study says it's the third worst-run city in the country. Despite it all, more than 60 million tourists visit the Big Apple every year for vacation. So I headed over to the tourist mecca, Times Square, to find out why they were there on purpose. So you guys are tourists. Yes, we are. Meaning you came to New York City for vacation. Yes, we did. Where are you from? Atlanta, Georgia. From Kansas. We're from Canada. And you came to New York City to relax. Yeah. 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 Please help me. Yeah. Any tips for me in terms of how to relax in New York or even figure that out? I mean, I guess we're going to try to figure it out. I'm sure you've been here longer than we have. We've been here for about three hours. Been here for three hours? Three hours. You've probably aged 10 years and you just don't know it yet. Do you feel very relaxed right now? Uh, my wife's a little tense. <laughs> I am a little tense all the time. That's just how it is. Uh, she, we're going to Niagara Falls after this and she's ready to leave now. So you are in Times Square on purpose? Absolutely. No other place in the world like it. <laughs> well, that's true. The planning was to go to Asbury Park, and I thought, well, my goodness, we can't come all the way over here and not see the city. Beach condo sounds like vacation. New York is like if a panic attack were a city. So what's been your favorite thing so far to see? The Times Square is very nice, uh, and the Central Park as well. Central Park vacation vibe. Times Square has more of like a vibe to me. Yeah, it is. It is. We were just talking about that. People come here to get energized. What energizes you in the city? It's just the excitement, the atmosphere. The, the atmosphere never stops. You can smell it right now. <music> Have you taken the subway yet? No, I don't think we're going to do that. You seem very relaxed. How do you stay so chill in New York City? A lot of wine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's what I do. What have you been doing that's been so relaxing? And we took the ferry to Staten Island. Oh, yeah, that was so really Staten nice. Island Ferry is yeah. relaxing. This is all very incredible information. It's actually pretty stressful. It's a really big cultural shock. Yeah. It's very different from being in East Tennessee. So you came to New York City from Spain for a vacation. Do you feel relaxed right now? No. no. <laughs> Sometimes I just, you know, stay under my bed and, you know, just stay there and I don't leave. I never felt like the words vacation and New York City belonged in the same sentence. I'm a big theater nerd, so like this is where the best theater is. So for me, like doing that and seeing something new is a vacation. Wow, that's a good. I do see something new every day here. Not always good stuff, though. He looks very relaxed right now. You, you relaxing in New York? Uh, sure. That's a very relaxed answer. He didn't even care I was asking the question. That's amazing. I need more of this attitude. Can we talk later? We go like rat watching in the subways. It's so cool. You go rat watching in the subways? <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, no, we do. We do. <laughs> so I should be looking at the rats as my friends yeah. slash a potential evening plan. So maybe New York is kind of awesome. I just need to embrace it. Also, if anybody wants to go rat watching with me in the subway later, I'd be willing to give it a try. <laughs> any, any takers? Rat watching? No. Uh, <laughs> apparently, it's uh, very common, though. Um, but yeah, I, I, Times Square is iconic. People come to see all the lights and everything. And, and Broadway, that young lady said she comes from Broadway. It's yeah. the best Broadway. It's the best theater on the, on the planet. But you ever notice, like, all these post-apocalyptic movies, like, the world is ending? Yeah. <laughs> Times Square is still, still kicking. Yeah. Like, everyone meets in Times it's Square like and survives. It's a rush of tourism, right? Yeah, so, I exactly. Mean, I, I, look, the most stressful thing about... I, I live in D.C., not, not exactly the most relaxed city right. in the world. The most stressful thing about New York is getting here for me. To, the powers that be, if you can fix LaGuardia Airport, oh. please do that, right? But, you know, look, I love this piece. I love these real Americans from all over the country, people from all over the world who just are excited to, like, be in New York. And, and you it, you come here to see things you will not see that anywhere is true. else. Did you <laughs> uh, land? Look, uh, I'm from Cleveland. And right. uh, next to Cleveland, New York's the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> And, Cleveland and, is wonderful. We call but that damning is, by faint praise. Oh no, no, no! Cleveland <laughs> is the greatest. But here, let's. Well, well not in baseball that, though. Hey, oh, you know, no. first in the American League and first in the hearts of the people. But energy, drama, excitement in the streets here. This, this is a pulsation here. This town is alive. And so you got to celebrate it. Yeah, that's problems. I agree. Play. I love living here. It's very alive, very awake. But sometimes I want to take a nap. You know what I mean? Oh, come on. It's really, hey, wait, really hard. No. Subway. Yeah, don't do well, that. Apparently not. not according not to happening. what I've seen on Drudge, <laughs> it's not a not good a idea. idea. All right, well, if New York, New York stresses you out too much, Nevada could be your cup of tea to mellow out. <laughs>